here we are again <clears throat> for a vinyl update. Uh, how's everybody doing out there in the uh, vinyl collecting land? Um, the vinyl community. Do, do, we, do we still call still call it the vinyl community? I noticed there was <clears throat> a lot of a lot of new people um, filtering in, you know, periodically um, showing their vinyl, and I've discovered a lot of um, new people doing that. Um, you know, like a bunch of us older people, I don't mean age-wise, but people that's been in the VC for a while. Let's see, this is my, the channel that you're currently watching this video on is my second channel um, of me showing vinyl. My old channel is a featured channel um, on this one. Uh, I have like maybe 30 videos, 20, 30 videos from my old channel. Uh, it's called Be Young, if you want to go there and watch those. I can't uh, comment back on those because I can't access it. It's a different email. But anyway, I thought I'd feature those in a playlist and um, the channel so people could still watch those because there's stuff that I haven't shown on this channel that I've shown in that, on that one. So anyway, thanks for um, tuning in to see what I got to show today. Um <clears throat> If you've watched my videos in the past, you know I show a lot of random things um, because my tastes are all over the place. Um, and let's get started. First one I have to show here is, I think this is the way you pronounce it, Mestopheles is the band. Uh, in Frustration, he, I Hear Singing is the name of the album. And I found this at a Goodwill. It looked very interesting. There's the band on the back. Um... I usually am gravitated towards uh, bands I've never heard because nine times out of ten they're just as good as bands that you know people go on and on about. So there's the gatefold there, sort of cool artwork. Um, this came out in oh let's see every time I try to do a uh, a year I never can seem to find the uh, release date but anyway it has the it's a regular sleeve I don't think that's the right sleeve but it's on reprise records and uh, still don't see a year on it but anyway let's stop the lease I don't know how many albums they made because like I said I'd never heard of this band previous to running across this album um, so there's that. Let's see, where am I going to put all this? There's a good spot. Uh, this next one here is Murray McLaughlin and the Silver Tractors, Hard Rock Town. Uh, I ran across this record and one other time after I bought this one. Um, I haven't listened to these yet, like I said, because i got to clean them and, you know, all that good stuff. But, um... This record's in really good shape. Uh, it's on True North. I mean, it's, it's quite dusty. There's the sleeve, just a regular black insert sleeve. So I don't know anything about this artist either, but um, it looks interesting. And there's no year on this one either, so. You think they would um, put that where everybody can, like a... Um, it should be at the same spot on every record, you would think, but it, it never is. This came out in 1977. I did find a year. So, moving on, we have um, True Love Songs of Our Time. This is um, featuring Dick Brooks, Bill Mann, Betty Lou Anders, Sunny Day, the Harlem Airs with orchestra and chorus directed by Valentino. Um, I've seen this cover before. Never actually ran across the album in person. Um, pretty interesting. In the back of it's not, but the front of it is. Hollywood Records. Uh, this record's really dusty. So, yeah. Some easy listening stuff, I'm sure. Uh, a Christmas one to throw in for good measure. Tijuana Voices with Brass sings Merry Christmas. Uh, and I like how that they all have fake mustaches, even the girls. That's pretty cool. 
that's an A and M record. Um, same label as um, Herb Albert. Actually, this one's on Pickwick, so this must be a compilation. Thing. It must have been a later one. Um, I don't know how that works exactly, but you know. Uh, and then uh, another command record, Persuasive Trombone of Irby Green. This is volume one. I think I showed volume two in one of my last videos. Um, I don't have to say much about that, but you know. Sure, it's going to be a good record. This one came out in 1960. So let's see, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2000. It's like almost 50 years old, 40 some years old, as old as I am. Actually, it's older than I am because I was born in 68. So uh, this one, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's Christmas record too. Uh, Ryoko Moriyama. Christmas album. There she is underneath the, uh, I don't know if that's mistletoe or, or holly leaves, but either way. Uh, and this one is, side A is in English, and side B is in Japanese, I'm guessing. So, you know, that's got to be good. Always joked about my Japanese Christmas album. Uh, you know, saying that I had a Japanese Christmas album, meaning... I recorded one myself, which I didn't hear the insert with the, with the lyrics. Like, I can really read that. I mean, it has the English versions, too. So, of course, I'm sure all these songs are like the usual Christmas thing. I'd seen a video lately on, I think it was on YouTube, saying how that every Christmas album has the same 10 or 12 songs. Yeah, these are, most of these are the, the run-of-the-mill ones. And then we have Terry Gibbs, um, plays vibes, basically, uh, anything with vibraphone, xylophone, it's going to be good. And Terry Gibbs was later spelled different, I think, a country artist, so that's not the same artist. Um, there he is, uh, there's the drummer on the back, the bass player, piano and vibes, so I'm sure this will be good. And this is on Mercury. And then, this one was really cool. I'd never seen it before. Herbie Mann and Tamika Jones, A Man and a Woman. That's a really cool cover right there. Uh, Herbie Mann record shows up quite a bit. Uh, it's sort of, I guess, jazz flavored. Or just strictly jazz. I don't really consider it to be fusion. Um, this is on Atl Atlantic. So, it's an awesome cover. Um, Dave Tripper is on here. I thought it'd be good to hear that one. Um, Sidewinder. So yeah, this one came out in 67. Herbie Mann. Uh, and then this one, Terry Harp Memorial Album with The Living Way. Just a ridiculous cover. I had to have it. Um, and then back here on the back is Brent Young. Does that look like me? It's not really me. My name is uh, sort of spelled different. And this one's still sealed. So, it's, uh, should I go ahead and open it up? Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's, uh... And this came out in... Let's see, what year did this come out? I don't see the year on it. But anyway, I just now opened a freshly sealed record. And there it is. Never been touched until now. I'm assuming it's never been touched. There you have it. Brand new record. Um, I don't know how many years this was sealed up. It looks like it's from the 70s. Like early 70s. That's what it looks like. And it's probably a gospel record by the song titles. Um, so, yeah. And moving on, uh, this one is sort of a bonus record. I mean, I sort of pick out, uh, I try to show the same amount of records in each video, but this one was stuck in between that I, I bought and didn't see it. Uh, Norman Connors, Love from the Sun. And, of course, I bought it because it was a Buddha record. 
it didn't have a sleeve with it. But, you know, Buddha Records is Buddha Records, 1973, so curious as to what that sounds like. This one here is an import record uh, by the looks of it, and it's really an awesome cover. Uh, I guess Lush is the name of the group, or I guess it's the song called Lush Love Moods. Oh, I see now. It's a um, compilation. It's got Bobby Gentry, Nancy Wilson, Glenn Campbell, Stan Kenton, Matt Monroe. It's the cover that sold it. That's right. I remember now. You know, I buy all these records, and then they stack up and I, before I get to show them in a video, and then I forget. Um, that I bought it, or why I bought it, or that I even have it at all. This is on Capitol. Um, it's just a white sleeve. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. This one does not. This is a German record, apparently, a German import. And then there's some more there on the back of the same series, I guess. And then we have this, Songs for the Children's Hour, Dr. Fun with the Kindergarten Kids and Friends. They're having a great time, you can tell. I mean, why wouldn't they? They're dressed like clowns. Like the old-fashioned clowns. It was the, what was the one guy that used to always have like the bearded, the stubble clown. I don't know what his name was, but. This has uh, the Columbus Song, Peppino the Italian Mouse, Gold Rush Medley. Uh, Yankee Doodle, Oh Susanna, Buffalo Bill, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. You know, it's funny that that's what kids' records were back then, unless it was the Sesame Street or something, and even them, probably. Um, those songs are pretty much obsolete now as far as, I mean, I don't think kids would really be interested in that anymore. Uh, but were they even interested then? I'm not sure. Uh, let's Have a Pizza Party, The Gay Lords. Um, I mean, a lot of things sold this record. The cover, the name of the band, and pizza. You know, there's a, three three reasons there. Well, four, actually, because it's a record. Uh, and I don't think I'd ever seen a Gaylord's record. I mean, I could look through these records and maybe find one. Just forgot that I'd had it. So, that's uh, all the vinyl I have to show in this video. 12 or 13 records, um, and um, I was going to say something, I forgot what it was. Check out my girlfriend's channel, she uploaded a video yesterday, um, and she'll be uploading some more. Uh, her channel is called Vintage Owl, um, and I am in probably most of her videos, because we debate uh, a versus series, we pick an album and, and give our opinions, uh, and then I, a lot of times I'll sit in with her videos uh, she's showing her vinyl updates and stuff. So check out her channel. Uh, subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. Same here. Thanks for subscribing. And please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks for commenting. And I'll be answering some comments on my previous videos. Hopefully today if I don't forget. And I'll be making another video. So watch out for that one. Watch out. Um, and that's all I got to say. So we'll see you in the next vinyl update. Peace out.